Hello YouTube, this is MT Shark 7 here, and this is another how-to video. I know it's been probably years since I did another, uh, the previous how-to video, but uh, since I'm modding my friend's top loader, I figured it's the opportune time to do it, and especially with the, considering the circumstances. So, this is the top loader, and whatever, um, you actually need two components off of this board. You need this transistor, which is considered Q1. And what's the other one considered? F and then this, I guess it's a uh, resistor right there. It's FC2. Now, FC2 is easy to desolder. You basically, I have, I use these hooks from Craftsman. And see this one, like this one right here. This guy, it kind of has like an angle. So I get underneath the leg, and on the underside, I heat up the, the um, through hole with the soldering iron, and I gently pull up to pop the leg out, and I do that to the other side. And here it is. Here's FC2. Now, Q1 didn't work because, I don't know, I tried desoldering it, and it wasn't working, so I just yanked it off the board, which is fine. Because that part of the board doesn't need to be used. So I had to go with this uh, alternative. It's a 2N3906 PMP transistor, which is right here. And there's the diagram for it on the um, data sheet. And also, for mounting LEDs, I'm also adding an LED to this one. Some people put the LED in right in here into the oh god it's hard to, into the power socket. I don't do that. I actually drilled a small hole right here. It actually is indented already, and you just stick it right there, and I just hold it down with hot glue, which is fine for that. Now, when building, well, actually on uh, building, hey. Get out, get away. When building the video circuit, you it, the instructions tell you to lift pin number 21, which you do not need to do. That's actually a bad idea. Stop that, it's a top loader. It's like a, it's expensive. Jesus. So you actually can take the 21 pin from the broken transistor right here at the bottom. I don't know if that's going to focus, but as you can sell, as, uh, tell, as I use a trace to pin 21, it's right there. So you can take that, rather than destroying any part of this board. <laughs> I mean, I've done it in the past where I lifted this pin, but it's better just to save, just to run a wire right there. Also, for grounding anything, I usually make a huge bulb of solder, like on the side right here, and just stick all the grounded wires right in there, and it works perfectly fine. Is there anything else? And here is my uh, board to make the video circuit, and I usually just have double-sided tape, and I just stick it on top of the PPE right here, which I'm probably going to cut. It's been like probably a year or two since I've done this mod. So yeah, so I hope this helps. Definitely do not lift that pin. There's no reason to. You can just take it from the bottom there, from where Q1 was supposed to uh, be at. And also, since you have this circuit, like the one guide I have just shows this circuit diagram, which is there's Q1, and it doesn't tell you where the base emitter or collector are. So I have, I use this circuit from Jakku's what is it? Oh god, it's sliding. Jack Hughes Gannon. It's this one. You can easily get this uh, circuit die, or just pause the video and uh, I don't screenshot it. But there's the circuit I use because you see there's the diagram which matches up with this diagram, but it's flipped around. Well, flipped around and like that <laughs> because there's where the incoming um, emitter is. That's the emitter signal going into the transistor and there's the bottom is the collector which goes into the ground and then the base is the video input 
So that is it, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's MT Shark 7 signing out. Have a good night.